What is up, guys? Promaster69 back with more Yakuza, and this is part two of episode one. Here we go. Remember where we left off? Kiryu just left the Dojima family headquarters, and he is now going to find the guy that set him up. So he has to go find him. Oh, and look who it is. Bacchus, the guy that we saw at the start. And he was just like, mm, Kiryu, put money into yourself. And then we meet his friend. It's actually very important. Can I skip this? No, I can't. So yeah, this part is very cool. So you get to find out that Bacchus actually um, has a loan and he has got loan sharks after him. So the loan shark, which is the smaller guy, sent came to get his money and sent um, a guy with him. And so we get to learn something very good. So that guy's just like, all right, I'll just fight you, th that guy first. And then Kitty's just like, oh, you, do, you sure you want to do that? You look kind of old. And then Bakus is like, and fight. Namita. And would you look at that? We learned Rush style. Could you second fighting style? And then the guys are, oh, I'm tired. Homeless dude. Bruno's barely got a scratch on him. You know, try to finish a job with that weak, with those weak ass punches. Yeah, since Rush is so fast, it also isn't the strongest fighting style. And then we get to fight him as Kiryu. Ah, yes. Street thugs. There's only one guy. Kind of sus. All right, and then we switch to Rush. And if you listen, the the theme changed, which I think is really unique about this game. It starts out very slow and isn't the best. But yeah, you can kick people. I won the fight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. And then the guy's just like, oh, I'm dead. Because we just beat the living shit out of him. And then he tells us where we need to go. And then is like, oh, why'd you, why are you bothering me? And he's just like, oh, so, so, blah, blah, blah. It's cool. Just some side stuff. It's not really important, so uh, please don't freak out that I'm I'm skipping dialogue. Oh no, you're skipping dialogue. Don't worry, it's not that important. I wouldn't just skip it f with no reason. And if I do skip it, I will try to explain it as best as I remember. So it's not... Hopefully it's not that big of a deal. So yeah, let's go beat the shit out of the people I need to beat the shit out of. Actually, before I do that, I am going to grab some stuff from him. Bob Usameo Zero. Oops. Oh, okay, we're back. Sorry about that. And now we have to get all this free stuff. Which is very good to grab at the start of the game. Because you get healing items, you get stuff for pocket circuit racing, which is a minigame. Um, don't think we will get to that, because I really do not like pocket circuit racing um but yeah you get free really good healing items um you get some weapons you get some plates so you can sell that shit and it's very helpful um but they give you skins uh not skins uh costumes um i cannot wear costumes until i beat the game so i definitely will show that after i beat the game let me 
put some shite on. All right, cool. Now let's get going. And right here is where I need to go. Let's go beat up these guys. Oh, so they're itching for a fight. Kazuma Kiryu of the Dojima family, and I'm here to beat your shit into the floor. Alrighty, Toko Credit Men. Let's beat some ass. I'll get my preferred fi fighting style. Which is Brawler, which is amazing. And actually, so there's three bars. That's called heat. Actually, if you can, if you were paying attention, when I get more heat, I get faster. Especially with rush, it's very convenient with rush. I get a lot faster, and it's a lot helpful. Um, I do prefer rush in the following game to this, which is Yakuza Kill Me, which we will definitely get to. Oh damn. But yeah, uh, Rush is definitely really weak. Um, it is good. It's not as weak, but it's definitely a lot weaker since, um, it, you know, it's a lot faster. So, of course, it can't just be extremely fast and also extremely powerful. You can upgrade it, so it is a little better in damage. So, you know, all that fun stuff. All right, so we just beat those guys, and now we meet the, the chairman of Toko Credit. Who is the guy we met at the start of the game? So I'll. There he is. So he's gonna point a gun at us, and then some. And then Kiyoshi said, "Oh, please explain to me what's gonna happen." Then you get to see who it was. Kuze. Alright, so... This happens. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to pause right here and then I'll come back right after this cutscene. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, So basically, we found out that Kuze was the guy that um, <clears throat> potentially set me up. Um, <clears throat> so, now... He, you know, he tells us, he gives us a little lesson. He's just like, you know, back in my day, you know, I didn't mess with any, you know, I didn't mess around, you know. Yakuza was cut in stone. And he also punches you in the gut. And then he's just like, oh, back in, back in my day, I used to be able to knock. Well, he doesn't say that. He says, oh, I knew I was going soft. I used to knock little bitches like you on the floor, like knock out little bitches like you with one, with one of those punches. And Kiryu's just like, oh, that really hurt my stomach. And then he just... Kuze just goes on and monologues about whatever. Ah, yes. The Kazuma family office. Where we need to go because... Kashiwagi-san wants to talk to us. A.K.A. the lieutenant of the Kazuma family. Who's a really good character, especially in this game. So yeah, now we have to go to Tenkaichi Street. Oh, oh damn. Yeah, so yeah, if you run out of stamina, you Kidu gets exhausted and he's just like, oh shit, I ran too much. I'm a pussy. 
you can actually can upgrade that, which is really helpful. Um, <clears throat> we'll get to that later on. <clears throat> watermelon. Never had watermelon. Never had watermelon. <gasps> Mm, yummy eating sounds. Hell, Kiryu. Hiya got that. Sima Sin Kashmir. Otema Kakisa Sirio and the Manish Chimat. I know. That's what I'm saying. よく無事だったな。お前が本家から呼び出されたってとこまでは西木山から聞いてる。Osamu Kashiwaki, captain of the Kazuma family. Oh, he's like the captain. そっから先何があったか大方予想がつく。あば。クゼのおじきあたりが風間を裏切れとでも言ってきたんじゃねえ。どういうことだ。so yeah, basically Kitty was framed. Oh shit. Sorry about the frequent pauses that the the game does. And Kiryu tells him, and he's just like, well, whatever, yada, yada, yada. Kazuma-san um, <clears throat> is the foster father of Nishiki and Kiryu. And the patriarch of the Kazuma family. And the captain of the... Is that the captain of the Tojo clan? He's very important in the Tojo clan, though. But he is the patriarch of the Cosmic family. Dojimagumi and they talk about the empty lot, and then they uh, has gone missing, and then the owner of the um the lot will come way later in the game, but we will get to that. It is a very plot twisting character, which is really cool. そのために人一人殺してまでな。おめえら、キリュが仇殺したってことで。その上で。クゼが殻の一つぼ手にして若頭になってみろ。組から追い出す。まさか。あの親さんが。破門された極道の末路は。言わなくてもわかるな。一度上まで乗し上がった後、自殺した。でも、キリは実際殺しはやってない。こいつの疑い。疑いを晴らす。そうだ。でも、このままじゃ、キリは無所に打ち込まれるんですよ。俺らが風
And he's like, there's only one way that this can not affect Kazuma-san. ボルは強化切り道島組を抜ける。さらず切り返して。極道から足を洗う。切る。お前。今回の一件。とにかく俺一人の責任として蹴りをつけるんだ。その後クゼを捕まえて。真犯人の居場所を吐かせ。何言
いい車乗って肩で風切って周りの人間に頭下げられてそういう人間になりてえって俺たちがそう思っちゃいけねえのかよ施設上がりの人間は夢を見ることも許されねえってな。今お前何考えてた何もぼーっとしてただけだほらよいつだったかおやっさんに殴られていた時のことを思い出してた俺たちがこの道に入る前の晩だったよな確か Aw, wholesome Kiryu and Nishiki moments. My favorite pair of all. And here we are, guys. The Dojima family headquarters. Again. Twice in the same day. Pretty sure it's the same day. Minareta has no Jimmy Shuma. Oscar Samus. Where is your Dojima Kumijoa? Jimmy Shuni Ruka. Eh, you lost him. Cobodo Rino or Richard. Eh? 組長に伝えてくれ。キリュウカズマが。逆付けを返しに来たってな。キリュウさん。本気ですか。ああ。so yeah。um。so everyone。like nishiki is a part of the kazuma family and so is like everyone else。they really wanted him to join but i think he was just like。I'm going to dojima。お前はもう。行ってくれ。本当にやるんだ。組長に話をつける。死ぬと決まったわけじゃねえ。お前にそんな真似が出る。またな。See you later, Kyoi Dai. Oh my heck, that's a lot of dudes. Really hope they don't beat me up. And Kuze, no Anaki. Mm -mm. And it's key for you, no Anaki. Kumi o nukete te wo to de in da na ki. Hai, Kumi chou ni hamon no onegai ni agarimashita. Otoritsuki negaimas. Kuze no iki. ザンネンだったら同様の八じゃダメだ親父の置きに入りのテレビの時間なんてな話だったら代わりに俺が聞いてやるてめえ縁故も詰めてねえじゃねえかてめえ極道舐めてんのかてめえ極道舐めてんのかあんたと話に来たわけじゃねえ組長はどこにいるんだ今現場で組織ってんのはこの俺だ口の聞き方には気をつけろよジュニアワファンジュニアいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやい
組み抜けさせてくださいってかお Oh, uh, actually, Kuze no Anaki, it is. Imagine. Oh, what after school club are you in? I'm in the Yakuza. That's not an after school club. What? I always go there after school, though. And it's kind of like a club because there's a group of people. That doesn't mean it's a club. It's like the guy that. He told <laughs> he gets like assassinated because he wasn't supposed to tell people he was in the Yakuza. Like, I was like his best friend. He's like, Why'd you kill my friend? And the guy's just like, Hey, I told you, buddy, you don't tell people you're in the Yakuza. That was not, that was like an Italian mafia. <laughs> that was the Italian mafia. I don't know why. I mean, mafia and Yakuza, they're still the mob. Well. Just different ethnicities, technically. But it's okay. But don't, we don't worry about that. They're the same thing, but they're not. But they are, if you think about it. Yeah, Kuz just pun Kuze just. I just call him Kuz. It's Kuze. Kuze just punches you a bunch of times, and he's just like, mm, "You little pussy bitch." Hey. ジミですけど、山の中で生き埋めが一番かと。薬品でドロドロにして流すってのもありですが。ああ。下は残せよ。後々こいつの死体が見つかった方がいいんだ。同時まぐりや。身内の死付けには厳しいって方が本家の評判